Okay guys, I'm almost certain that you didn't know that you have access to all of these features directly from within Hostinger's control panel. Like for instance, Kubernetes. Or if you use React.js, you can deploy using Docker. Again, immediately directly from your Hostinger control panel. Now, there are a lot more obviously, so let me show you. Okay guys, so the very first feature is a very handy one actually that will come in super handy, especially if you design websites for your clients and you want feedback from them. So there's a free feature built into Hostinger that you can use directly. So let's say you were to look at this website here, travelwithmrweb.com. So this is what it looks like. So let's say you just built a website for your customer here, a travel and tour booking website, and you want to get feedback from them and you want to make your life easy without having to go back and forth via email. So you can use one of those tools that they have here. So next to your domain name, you have the admin panel, manage, and you also have this icon here, collaborate visually on this website with Atarim. So if you click on this now, it will open Atarim for you. So what you need to do first is to set it up, okay? So customize your account. So tell us more about what you do. Are you a team? Is it for your clients or both? So probably both here, I suppose, you know? How many team members do you have? So whatever is your team, you know? How many client projects per year? So select according to your business. So let's put a name here. I'm just gonna put Mr. Web, okay? And then you can enter your phone number. There you go, this is a, a dummy number and you can add more websites as well. I'm just gonna keep this one for now. So I'm gonna skip and then enter the admin email address. So hello at mrweb.tv. So it could be John Doe at your domain name.com and so on, okay? So I'm just gonna remove those two. Just gonna keep this one and you can copy this and share that with your client immediately, okay? So now we're gonna move to the next step. So select those platforms that you're currently using. So most people will use Slack. Uh, Trello, I suppose, you know, uh, especially in the web design sphere. So next, and as you can see, you've unlocked a 14 day trial for Atarim Premium. So let's start collaborating visually and then your customers can add comments and all of this directly on your page here, you know. So let's say instead of popular tour, uh, they want to add popular destinations. Click on this. So change to popular destinations. Okay, or something like that, whatever it is, and then post. Very good, so this is posted, and then when you come back, you can see the comment and you can act upon it, obviously, you know, you can change this in backend and uh, mark it as done. So this is a very handy tool, I think, you know, uh, to get feedback from your clients on the work that you've provided them with, you know, on your website and all of that. So basically, this is a handy tool, and again, this is built in directly into your a hosting a H panel. All you have to do is go to your website next to the domain name you're working on. Go here and then you can collaborate immediately from within Hostinger. Very good. So the next one is KubeSphere, which is an open source container management platform built on Kubernetes. So if you want to deploy apps and things like this, you might need Kubernetes. And this is already built in into Ubuntu 22.04 in the VPS template, which is this one here. So for this, you need a VPS with Hostinger. And then once you have it, you can set it up. Okay. So there's no IP address assigned yet. So let's set this up together and then start now. We're going to select the nearest to us. So we're based in Ireland. So France would be the nearest. So continue. And right here, you can set up, uh, select the OS template for your server. So like we said, this is only working and available on Ubuntu. And we're going to select the version 22.04, so which is this one. Okay, so select. And then they provide you with Monarchs, which is a free malware scanner. Again, this is completely free, so might as well make use of it. So continue. And then from here, you can add an SSH key as well if you want to access your server remotely. We're going to skip this for now. Okay, this is optional. And then create a root password and then click save and continue. So this is a quick overview of our details of, from our VPS and then finish setup. Very good. So well done. You are ready. So this is configured and installed now. So which action do you want to take by your domain or VPS dashboard? Well, we're going to go to the dashboard now, okay? So manage. Excellent. So as you can see, Ubuntu 22.04 64-bit is installed, but we need to install an application as well. So now we open the OS in panel, operating system. And if you go to applications, you can select here, as you can see, Ubuntu. And we're going to select Ubuntu with, uh, as you can see, have Docker here as well. We're going to use uh, KubeSphere, which is uh, Kubernetes, okay? And then change OS. And then I understand that everything will be deleted. And then confirm. We need to enter our admin password, our root password, sorry. So control C, control V, and then confirm. And as you can see now, the changes are in progress. Excellent, so that's installed now. So this took about, I don't know, seven to eight minutes, I think. 
So to access it, basically you need to type HTTPS and then your IP address followed by semicolon and then 30880 or you can simply click on this link here altogether okay so the username is admin and then this is the password the temporary password and you need to change this after your first login okay so let's click on this together okay so continue very good so let me uh, zoom in a little bit there you go cube sphere so again here type your email address we're just going to copy and paste this okay so and then this is the password that we need to use now so control c so we have admin and then the password and login very good so we can save this now so we can create a new password now so i'm just going to copy and paste one from here so Control c Control v and then submit and there you go so now we have access to cubesphere and then from here you can set up your platforms as you can see if you click on this icon here you have a cluster management so a unified management of multiple clusters and their basic resources component and application resources access control and platform settings so this is basically we're going to start setting everything up so let's say if you were to create a cluster management here there you go and then you have all the nodes and, and everything here by the side and then you can start configuring everything as you see fit and then they also have ubuntu 2204 64 bit with magento 2.0 so if you're planning to build a very powerful e-commerce website with a lot of products and a heavy database this is the ideal choice so let's access this together all you have to do is click on this link here so let's click on that and the credentials are admin and then the password you use when you created this okay so sign in very good so this is done so allow and there you go guys we are in the dashboard of magento 2.0 and again this is one of the most powerful platforms when it comes to e-commerce so you have everything related to your sales your catalogs or your categories and products everything related to your customers marketing content reports you know different stores and uh, the system settings here so all together it's a, like i said it's a very powerful e-commerce platform you know and this is what it looks like at the moment in the front end but if you want to buy maybe a premium theme you can find them online this is a default one that comes with it so next if you subscribe to a vps with hostinger you'll get accounting for free as well which is a free accounting software normally if you go on their own website you'll have to pay for it as you can see start a cloud premium cloud elite cloud starting at eight dollars per month as you can see this is not free on their website but it's free with hostinger so to access it all you have to do is click on this link here and then let's fetch our details so this is the admin and let's enter our password very good and then log in and then from here you can enter your details like tax registration number your address your country your financial your start your logo okay so i'm just going to skip this step all together and then you can add multiple currencies if you wanted to again i'm going to go straight to the next one and then you have all the recommended apps like double entry estimates or quotes uh, custom fields inventory and payroll so create your first invoice click on this and there you go guys you already logged into your accounting software and again this is completely free and it's actually quite a comprehensive solution as well so let's go back to the main dashboard just to show you very good so here as you can see you have all your items all your sales your purchases all your banking uh, reports and uh, basically here's a quick overview of your financial situation and how your sales are going but obviously there's a lot more than this if you are to install all my linux you could have it with different control panels like cpanel cyber panel direct admin plesk uh, virtual admin and webuzo as well if you scroll down the page if you install debian as a linux version you could have media kit built in as well and those we just discovered now with ubuntu you have accounting asp.net cloud panel cloud drone so these are also uh, control panels uh, docker obviously if you coding in react.js easy panel fast panel goes gitlab etc etc so as you can see there's a very comprehensive selection of applications here that you can use to take your online projects to the next level now if you wanted to access all of these you need to get a vps from hosting or so click on the first link in the description where it says uh, get hosting now so this will bring you to this landing page here so this is a co-branded page that i have with hostinger as you can see recommended by mr webb and this is a dedicated co-branded page that i have with them with special offers and special deals and you can save up to 75 percent and i also have a coupon code that you can use mr webb at checkout to save an extra 10 percent so to get a vps with them all you have to do is to go to hosting vps hostings 
And as you can see, they start at only $4.49 per month. Scroll down the page, and here you can choose among four different options. As you can see, you have KVM1, so this is one CPU, KVM2, two CPUs, four is four CPUs, and eight is eight CPUs. And obviously, the RAM, hard drive, storage space, and the bandwidth will also increase accordingly based on price. So there you go, guys. If you want to give it a go, as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.